Do not get a Basenji until you watch this video we will show you 10 facts about the Basenji and why you should not get this breed for unprepared owners. The whole truth about the Basenji, which is not so easy to find. Let's start with history to understand all aspects of this interesting breed. And here are some historical facts that will help us understand all the nuances, and then we will move on to the personal experience of the author of the video for more than three years, so that you can fully appreciate all the risks associated with owning the Basenji breed. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel, we have interesting videos about rare, interesting and expensive breeds of dogs and cats. So, let's begin. Basenji or African non-barking dog is one of the oldest dog breeds. In ancient Egypt, these dogs were brought as a gift to the pharaohs, who greatly revered the Basenji and considered them a living amulet. This is evidenced by the wall images of the Basenji in the tombs of the pharaohs, as well as the found mummies of dogs buried with honors, along with their great masters. Dogs like the Basenji were common in Nubia, the territory of modern Sudan. In the burials of the ancient Nubian culture of Kerma, archaeologists discovered the grave of a woman, and at her feet a dog similar to a Basenji. In Zaire, Republic of the Congo, Basenjis are still used for hunting and are highly valued for their excellent hunting qualities. In 1895, the Basenji left the African continent for the first time and were taken by sailors to England, but those dogs did not survive. In 1905, the Basenji appeared in the Berlin Zoo as exotic animals, and in the 1930s they were brought back to England, where the breed standard was approved, which is still used today. In 1937, the first Basenji appeared at an exhibition in the United States under the name Congo Terrier, after which the breed was noticed. In 1941, a pair of Basenjis was brought to America, and the distribution of this breed around the world began with them. Ideal height at the withers males 43 cm, females 40 cm ideal weight males 11 kg, females 9.5 kg. There are four Basenji colors. Red with white, saturated black with white, tricolor, rich black with red red tan, with markings above the eyes, on the muzzle and cheekbones, brindle, black stripes on a reddish brown background. With all colors white paws, chest and tail tip. White legs, head marking and collar are optional. White color should never prevail over the main color. Color and markings should be rich in color, crisp, well formed, with a clear border between black and tan in tricolors and stripes in brindles. Litters of the Basenji are not numerous, on average four to five puppies are born. In 1964, the Fédération Sinologique Internationale approved the official standards for these amazing African non-barking dogs. The inability to bark is a hallmark of the Basenji, although the dog's vocal cords are all right, and she is able to growl, howl, and whine, but these dogs do not make the barking sound characteristic of all her relatives. The exact reasons for this behavior are unknown to sinologists, most likely, experts associate the unwillingness to bark with the original purpose of the dog to track down and drive game in the rainforests. Perhaps barking interfered with a successful hunt, and gradually the need for it completely disappeared. But this is just a hypothesis. For many centuries, Basenji dogs have lived in Africa as pack animals, therefore they perceive the family as a pack and only feel comfortable in a pack, so small puppies, up to six months old, hardly take root with owners who work all day and come home only in the evening. Puppies alone are scared, sad, they begin to howl, calling for help from their mother or other members of the pack. After all, in the jungle, if you are left alone, then you have been lost. You howled, asking for help, the members of the pack did not come, but predators can hear you and eat you. The instincts of puppies work in the same way. I am alone in the apartment, howling, the members of the pack did not come, so I need to save myself hide from predators. And the puppy begins to smash the apartment in search of salvation. The owners who came home are terribly surprised, but such behavior of a young dog is quite logical for her. Therefore, it is not recommended to take these dogs to those who are rarely at home and leave the Basenji alone for a long time. It won't bring happiness to anyone. The Basenji is not a guard dog at all, they have an instinct to gather their flock in a heap in the forest and follow it, but there are no security functions in them. Why do you need a Basenji in the house? Many do not understand why this dog. She won't protect, she won't lay, but she will recognize a stranger outside the door, and with her agitated behavior will make it clear to the owner that the danger is nearby. But it must be remembered that these African dogs are driven animals, accustomed to chasing prey at high speed. Therefore, you can only walk the Basenji on a leash. According to statistics, Basenjis are more likely than other dogs to die under the wheels of cars. 
Not only cars are dangerous, but also dogs' basenjas smell differently, and dogs often perceive this smell as hostile. Yes, and the basenji themselves are not always friendly with relatives of other breeds. The basenji is an aboriginal breed that has lived for thousands of years in the wild and was not bred by man through selection, so it should eat natural food, which is similar in composition to the usual one. Basenjis have been earning their own food for centuries, so all the products that the owners left on the table are their prey. You need to remember this and put food in those places where these smart hunters cannot get it. How long does it take to walk a basenji? Despite their small stature, Basenjis are strong and active dogs, they are very fond of movement. So, the more you walk with them, the better. Ideally, a few hours every day, otherwise they will spend their energy on you in the apartment. Can a Basenji get along with a cat? Basenji is a hunting breed, its other name is Nyam Nyam Terrier. Therefore, it is better to take a puppy when there is an adult, calm, kind cat in the house. Adult Basenjis will hunt a kitten and any other small living creatures and it is very difficult to over-stubborn a dog, like any primitive breed. How do Basenjis react to other dogs? Usually not bad, as they are pack dogs, but sometimes they try to dominate other dogs. Such contacts can sometimes pose a danger to the Basenji themselves. 5 Positive Facts About the Basenji Doesn't bark, but whines and can yodel. These dogs are clean and do not require special care. They are in good health, unless they have the Falcone gene, and live 13 to 15 years or more. They are beautiful. They are super active. Basenjis are affectionate and love to sleep with their owner under the covers. 10 Negative Facts About the Basenji This is a dog that thinks only about itself and its interests. Very difficult to train. Will exchange the owner for a piece of stale bread. They do not perform any security or protective functions. They love comfortable conditions very much, they need a sofa, a pillow and a blanket. They are very afraid of water, in rainy weather they do not go outside. They do not tolerate extreme heat and cold. Males are very dominant, they can compete with one of the family members, for example, a man. You can only walk with them on a leash. The Basenji is on the list of the most popular refuse dogs. Very often there is no contact with the owner. It is often said that they are fearless, although this is due to the fact that they do not know how to analyze the situation. Because of this, they can get into unpleasant situations, fight with an unequal opponent, and often get hit by cars. Who is absolutely not suitable for the Basenji breed? Not suitable for families with children. She needs 100% of your attention, so if you can't provide it, think twice before getting a Basenji. They are well suited for people who are ready to give the dog maximum attention and lead an active lifestyle. They cannot be alone at home. They can destroy everything, smash and gnaw. They are suitable for people who are ready to give the dog maximum attention and lead an active lifestyle. Contrary to popular belief, the Basenji is not a hypoallergenic breed. Therefore, think very carefully before starting this breed of dog, because the consequences can greatly upset you. Refusenic dogs are often mentally disturbed, and it is difficult for them to get along with their new owners. We hope that this information is enough to make the right decision regarding the Basenji breed. Subscribe to our channel, there will be many more interesting things.